Hi guys. So I'm here just doing a quick one today, which is the advent calendars and my um, Look Fantastic box for Christmas has arrived. Isn't that a pretty box? That's so pretty to get a gift in. Anyway, my name's Fawn. This is my channel. It's my happy place. And I come here to show people what I've got and what I'm doing and what I'm thinking about. So if you like that kind of thing, please do give me a thumbs up, click subscribe uh, and leave a comment. So straight into it, no shilly shallying today. <laughs> let's do mac and today i believe it's the 15th oh dear me 16th 16th it's flying by isn't it though it's having the children home and thoroughly confused as to what's going on and every one of our little plans uh that we made you know certain days we were going to do certain things <laughs> it's all been thrown into complete disarray anyway 16th um oh here it is it's a big one well big box uh, big drawer, big compartment. So let's see what's in here. This is MAC Strobe Cream. What it is highlighter? Do you think? Strobe cream? Uh, what does that say? <laughs> oh God, why do I even bother trying to read it with my own eyes? Pink Lit Strobe Cream. Hydratant Luminex. Hmm. Yeah. Uh, yeah, as you know, I have very mixed feelings about um, illuminators and highlighters and that sort of thing. So I'm going to have to actually look on the MAC website and see if this is something that you're just supposed to just put a dibby on because then I probably won't use it. But if it's something you put all over your face and then you do your foundation and it's supposed to give you a glow, I might try it. But I'm not unhappy to have it. I'm just not sure how it works and what it is. Okay, number 16 from the um, Space NK box. So let's see what does, <laughs> if I can figure out the way in. I keep trying to get into these things without tearing them because they're so pretty. Um, I'm going to have to come up with another use for them. Oh, it's a blush. It's a blush by Rose Ink called Blush Divine. Radiant lip and cheek colour. Ooh, interesting. Very interesting. So let's open this up, shall we? Oops. Oh, pretty little sort of compact. And you open it up. And there is the lip and cheek colour. Oh, yes, it is. It looks as if it's powder, but it is. When you touch it, it is a cream. Let's put some... In fact, my lips have gone. The, the lippy has gone. I've been fighting with the kids. Ah, uh, that's yes. Oh, I like that. Uh, uh, uh. Oh, I look considerably. <laughs> Didn't realise how much of my lippy had worn off, actually. Um, I mean, I've just slapped that on with my finger, but I'm really pleased with that. That is very nice. And I've what was left on my finger, I've sort of blended onto the back of my hand. I think it'll make a really pretty cheek colour. I'm really chuffed with that. That is a lovely one by Rose Ink. And I'm keeping that one. Mine, the clue was in the fact that I'd smeared it all over my face and rub my finger in it. <laughs> like I was going to give it to somebody and my finger had been in it. Then we have the Selfridges box. And in this is... Oh, Davines All in One Milk. Davines is a hair thing, isn't it? It's quite a she-she, organic, vegan that kind of business hair people isn't it Devine's um multi-benefit beauty treatment for all hair types it's got raku oil never heard of raku oil in it does it say how you use it I don't think it does no oh it says it facilitates combing of dry and wet hair controls frizz with exceptional conditioning effect Gives body without weighing hair down. Okay. Well, you know, I'm always fascinated by all the hair things. Yes, I'm pleased with that one. I'm interested to try that. Right, now I must be on day four, I believe, yes, of Charlotte Tilbury. I'm hoping for more makeup. It's the makeup I'm really interested in with Charlotte Tilbury. Oh, and I haven't. I've got a Goddess Skin Clay Mask. That will totally go in the giveaway. Um, what does it say? It visibly lifts, smooths, tightens and reduces the appearance of pores for baby soft skin. I'm sure it's lovely. Um, 
but i have quite a few again there's no foil cap on it i sort of expect that these days i have clay masks that i love and use regularly i i don't really have an interest in trying that one so i mean it's nice enough but not for me so it's going in the giveaway so that's the advents today so i mean there is a big winner in this i'm really pleased with this and it's dried beautifully and my lips don't feel tight you know how some of these lippies lip balms whatever you want to call them you put them on and it looks quite glossy and then because it's long lasting it dries and your lips feel really sort of crusty and nasty it doesn't feel like that they actually feel really sort of velvety soft so mega pleased with that one um and the others are you know interesting <laughs> but as i say happy to pass on so let's have a look at the look fantastic box i just think that's such a pretty so elegant i like these two colors with the gold simple things simple minds um and what does it say in here today sparkle this festive season and have a very merry christmas with love from team beauty box and then it's all beautifully wrapped so let's have a look oh now isn't this funny it's a sleeping mask now i only just had a pink one didn't i i think that was in the glossy box wasn't it i think so there'll definitely be a very nice sleeping mask going into um the giveaway box this is designed in poland it's by it's called glow satin sleeping mask sleep like a queen and wake up as a goddess oh now i might have a go of this a hollywood browser okay it's a hair removal and dermaplaning tool it shapes your eyebrows and it removes your peach fuzzy um hair on your face and it's a really unusual shape look at that now i already use the ones that you get from amazon i mean they're really cheap um because i have terrible oh it's awful the beards i've got these days so i already use one and occasionally i will dermaplane my face so I'm really keen to try this and have a go. Quick, easy and pain-free. It does eyebrows, sideburns, peach fuzz, upper lip, chin, bikini line. I don't think I'd be brave enough to go bikini line. Fingers, toes, neck, hairline, ears and stray hairs. <laughs> oh, well, I haven't got them on all of those places, so thank goodness. Maybe they'll come with time. Um, and it explains the, the benefits of dermaplaning. So that's really nice. I'm, I'm pleased with that and that one I'm keeping. Then we have a Star Skin VIP The Gold Eye Mask. I love masks of all varieties, eye, face, feet, hands, love them all. So it's always a good one for me. And they're usually quite pricey, the, the ones that you get in these boxes. They're not ones that you routine, or I wouldn't routinely go and buy. Um, so this is Revitalising Gold Foil Eye Masks. Um, what does it, does it? What is the gold particularly for? Mm, it doesn't say why it being gold should be any better than anything else, but <laughs> don't really care. <laughs> it's just nice to lay back with an eye mask and you just go, oh. And you know, it says something like leave it on for 10 to 15 minutes and then you look at your watch and you find you've done 25. <laughs> but I'm happy. Three more things in the box. Next is a Lottie London blush. It's called Haze, I believe, Haze. Um, an ombre blush. Now let's, I'll open it, but I'm not gonna touch it because it's definitely gonna go in the giveaway. Oh, I can see. It's a deeper pink at the top, fading down. So that's why it's an ombre blush. I've got a couple of Lottie London things that I've had and I've been quite pleasantly surprised by them. I think they're a sort of a young make. Um, but it's surprising the things that you know are fun from these sorts of, of companies so that'll be going in the giveaway then we have now what is this <laughs> a highlighter pencil <laughs> it's called spotlight it's quite a nice shade spotlight uh it's made of the czech republic highlighter pencil in pearl that's the color they're calling it pearl that's quite nice and I may actually, do you know, I know I said the other day that I might try the Charlotte Tilbury one. I think I'll definitely try this one. I've been tempted to see if it would help in here to sort of 
brighten my eyes up and I, I've noticed that a lot of these beauty um, influencers and makeup artists they will put something in here and I find that if I try to put uh, a powder shadow in there because I've got contact lenses it can make my eyes really sore whereas this being a pencil I should be able to do that little dibby in there that they do and hopefully brighten the face so I'm really pleased to try that really really curious and really pleased to try that so that's spotlight highlighter pencil it's going down there because it's I'm, I'm keeping it or it goes over there because I'm not <laughs> there's a big box over here on this side and the last thing in the box is wonderful Elemis Elemis Pro Collagen Energizing Marine Cleanser. I love Elemis. I've used Elemis for a very, very long time. Um, it used to be sort of a, a birthday present or a Christmas present. I would ask for something in the Elemis range. Um, I, I rate them. Uh, has this got a cap on it? Yes, you see it's got a foil cap. I expect that these days. Um, I, I really think they're great products and i do love the range i love the scents i love the feel so this is really really lovely and only because i had that huge goat cream the other day you know the kate somerville <gasps> oh excuse me <laughs> that came from nowhere um only because i had that big goat milk the other day i'm actually going to put this in the giveaway i think it'd be a really nice thing for someone to get um if I hadn't had that big goat cream, I'd keep it because I do, as I say, really rate Elemis. But um, you can only use so many products at once. And I don't want to store <laughs> cupboards from jam. That's why I do giveaways. So, um, yeah, going in the giveaway. I think that was a lovely box. Actually, oh, and I've put a throne thing so I can't do it. Yes, I will. I'm going to do it. I'm going to do it. I wouldn't be a very good YouTuber, would I? So there's the Elemis. There was the mask, wasn't there? There was the mask. There was the ooh, highlighter. Hang on. Highlighter pencil. There was, oh, the eye mask. And ooh, the dermaplaning tool. I think that's what was in there. <laughs> oh, dear me. So anyway, yes, we're well behind here. Um, we sort of worked out, we tend to sort of do things like they're all coming here for Christmas Day. Um, which is not, I mean, it's not exactly far, is it? It's about five steps. But what we do is we work out what needs doing and we, and we sort of plan it in and try to be sort of quite organised. Because having animals and, and so on, you've got to be fairly organised. But having the children has kind of thrown it all. And in the middle of it all... Um, Jar Jar has her, her eye. That's one of the goats. Um, we have a problem because the white goat that you would have seen at the front, if you watched the video, his name's Jarly. Um, he, he was... <laughs> we got him as a fixed goat, so castrated goat. But he hadn't been castrated properly. And when they could only find one ball, they removed the one ball. And basically, he still had another ball inside him. And it, as a consequence, he's got these great big horns. He has subsequently had that ball removed because he was becoming a real nasty billy, which is not what, you know, that's a whole other thing. So anyway, he's got these big horns. Now, the RSPCA and the, and the, and the um, sort of Be Kind to Animal Brigade have said that they won't remove horns now. Um, it used to be done routinely. They won't remove them now because it's not fair to the animal, which I get. But it does mean that they can be um, a little bit more, not dangerous is the wrong word, but kind of dangerous to each other. So it looks like Jarly has kicked off at some point and has got Jar Jar in the eye with one of his horns. Is it horns? They have, yeah, horns. Um, I wanted to say antlers for a minute, but goats don't have antlers, do they? Um, so we've had the vet out, sort of another lovely vet bill. And we're hoping to save the sight in that eye. Uh, we've got to put drops in a couple of times a day now. <laughs> Just to add to the list of things. Because <laughs> that's the thing. You get animals and things happen. And it doesn't matter how hard you try, things happen. And we did say to the vet, you know... <laughs> does this qualify us for having the horns removed because they're quite fierce um and he said you know unfortunately no 
so we're still suffering on with that one and we're just hoping it doesn't happen again so yeah so as, as well as having the children here we now have you know we had a vet's visit and now we've got an extra job which is drops in in Jar Jar's eye and you know so it's getting um busier as Christmas comes on I can't tell you how much it means to me to be able to come here and sit down and talk to you and laugh about what's going on and just sort of I'm not venting but just sort of let it off my chest because my husband much as I love him and he is a gorgeous man does not like animals and I can't um semi complain to him about anything to do with the animals because his answer is get rid of them get rid of them get rid of them and you say to him but nobody wants you know castrated male goats there's no use for them I mean they don't make milk they're not of a variety that, that does um you know that you can weave goat hair jumpers from nobody would take them it would be the knackers yard it's the same with the horses I somebody oh see this is getting long but I will say somebody said do we ride them do I ride do we ride them I don't ride anymore I used to ride as a girl but I had an accident and it completely put me off I lost my nerve I become so nervous now that it's not worth it I love handling them I love grooming them I love petting them but I won't sit on them but the horses that we have here the two little ones Dowie and Jojo are um, trained and broken the children ride them they're learning to ride Danny the old man is Jamie's original riding horse um, and he's no good for riding now he's not well enough he's too thin he's too old he's not bearing up well but we said when we took him he had a home for life um, Stella and Dora are both um, horses well a horse and a pony that's their only um, if we didn't keep them if we didn't have them well, in fact Stella was going to um, the cat food market um, he, she was going to the slaughterhouse when we took her because one of her um, udders I don't think they're udders on a horse but one of her udders doesn't doesn't work um, she had massive mastitis at some point not with us and it has stopped one of her uh, mammaries from uh, producing milk so she became useless so far as um, the horse breeding world were concerned and she was going to market because she's never been ridden um, she's far too old to start riding her now <laughs> I can't see how anybody would bring Stella around um, so yeah she was going to, to market and, and my daughter heard about her and so we rescued her um, so Stella's not rideable but I'm not sending her to the meat market either Dora likewise Dora happens to be a very dangerous little pony she's as mad as a box of frogs she had a very rough life before she came to us. She has a lot of scars on her legs mostly. Um, and if you try to ride her, she rears up and rolls over and, and becomes very dangerous. So again, we didn't know this about her when we got her, I have to say, because she was supposed to be a very old pony <laughs> who was just going to be a companion for Dan. Uh, and she turned out to be a young pony who was pregnant. <laughs> um, and after she'd had her baby and, and was well, we thought, well, what a waste. She's a lovely little riding pony. Um, and we gave her to a riding school near to us. Um, and they got in touch after quite a short period and said, no, she's far, far too dangerous, far, far too dangerous. We're going to have to send her to um, what my father was called, the knacker's yard. Um, and we said, no, no, that's no no she comes back here so um aurora eventually will be my daughter's riding horse jojo and dowie are the kids riding horses we're at capacity now we definitely don't want to take any more on but as some of them um expire shall we say we will get another riding horse for my son-in-law who likes to ride uh, in an ideal world we would just have working horses but oh this is turning into too long a thing but uh, my theory okay this is my theory it's always been my theory since I was a kid and I mean I didn't have horses at that point in time but cats dogs anything that came into my life they don't owe me anything these animals don't owe me anything and okay the horses in a sense Stella Dora Danny they're useless because they're not 
able to be ridden they're not able to pull a cart now that's what sensible um level-minded um you know that's what people would, that's what the horsey world would say vets vets come vets come and say you know why why um because really they're not of any use but i don't feel they have to be useful uh, they don't owe me anything they give me pleasure um, seeing them out talking to them spending time with them have to say there have been uh, periods in my life when you know I've sobbed <laughs> I've sobbed on some of these ponies necks and they've made me feel a lot better so um, at the moment the only ones that are ever ridden are Jojo and Dowie uh, Danny hasn't been ridden now for about two years um, as I say he has lots of health issues and the other ones can't be some people would say that uh, Aurora was ready for breaking but not in our world we're going to do it slow we're going to do it late we're going to do it gently um, we're going to try and use a natural horsemanship uh, approach to her so um yes so somebody asked so I thought I'd tell you but that's turned into a much longer spiel <laughs> than I attended it, intended it to be um but I, I am aware that I'm very, very lucky that I'm able to say these these animals are safe. I, I know that. And I know that you can have an animal, a big animal, like a horse or a donkey or a, whatever, and your life circumstances can change very quickly and you're unable to, to keep that animal. And it breaks your heart. I, I mean, let me put it out there. I know that that would be a terrible thing. But it does happen people's circumstances change there isn't the money they can't give the the care that they need to and they're brave enough to face that fact and um and do something for the best interests of the animal fortunately i don't have to do that with these so i am in a very very lucky position and i, I hope people realize that i realize that i'm in a very very lucky position <laughs> anyway that really, really quick video has turned into a long one and I'm going to have to try and edit the hell out of it. Okay. <laughs> but I'll see you tomorrow. Bye, guys.